Here's an interview with Izzy and her family members speaking about the differences between World War II and the current pandemic. What would you say are some of the main similarities or differences between this experience during the coronavirus or what people might have experienced during the war? So I would say some of the main similarities between these two experiences is that there's definitely a sense of fear within the community. The fear of contracting coronavirus may be less of a dominant fear than the war would have been in that time because although you are more exposed to it on the news you don't necessarily feel a threat when you're in your own home it's also a big change in the working environment of the whole country with nowadays loads of people are now working from home during this pandemic and lots of people have had to lose their jobs Whilst in the war, there was a massive shift in the jobs of the country while people were diverting all their resources to helping the war effort, which is quite similar to now. Lots of companies are diverting their resources to help make medical equipment. And what would you say are some positives and negatives that will come out of this experience whenever it finishes or draws to a natural end? I think unfortunately there will be a lot of negatives. Obviously there will be a lot of people who will be negatively impacted. So there will be people who will lose family members. There will be people that um, lose their jobs. Um, There will be people that will go bankrupt. So I think there'll be a significant impact on society. But I think there'll be also be a lot of positives. I think the fact that um, people are restricted with what they can do will mean that they will look back and look inwardly on themselves and look for um, opportunities to do things differently, to think about life and society differently, so that they look at themselves as part of communities and look more at the way their communities work. Such as like where they live Um, or their other environment? Yeah, where they live and the people who live in their communities and the businesses that run in their communities. 